Hey guys, uh, good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are. Uh, you might wonder what kind of uh, madness this all this is. So this is called Hotec Collimator. This is uh, C14 Edge HD Smith's Cassegrain Telescope. And I put a hyperstar in the front. And I put an adapter for the Hotec Collimator. And I put the Hotec target here. I put a similar target in the back as well. I'll show you guys in a minute. So what this setup really is, is before you come in the night, bring your telescope. If you wanted to make sure if your telescope is roughly or collimated already and no issues so that you have no surprise and you don't need to waste like a clear night, this is the product for you. Uh, the Hotec collimator will work both for the Hyperstar setup or if you are not using Hyperstar for any Smith's Cassegrain telescope, whether it's 8 SC or whether it's 9 and a quarter or 11, either Edge HD or not, it's going to basically work pretty much in every setup uh, with or without Hyperstar. For Hyperstar, you need to get an additional extension kit. Uh, they give you this adapter and they give you this additional collimator for you to test it. In case of SCT, you don't have a hyperstar in that scenario. All they give you is a set of target to put it in the back of your telescope and that's pretty much what you need. In all the cases, you get this target board. Uh, this target board has lasers in them. So when you turn this on, it has like four different kind of lights. So you can turn stage one, two, three, four, whatever. I will explain that in detail. But anyway, these lasers reflect into the Smith's Cassegrain telescope and point the image here for you to collimate. That's how these are going to work. I think in the beginning, it's pretty much overwhelming when I look at it. Uh, there is a manual out there, but it seems it's little advanced setup. So I thought of putting a video together to make sure, like if someone is trying to do this work, it's easy for them to get it going. All right, so Hotec Collimator comes like in a box like this. And if you see inside, you have you have uh, you have a plate like this one. It looks like a tiny laptop with like some markings. And if you see the bottom of it, it's like a tripod, kind of a screw. And then in the back, these are actually lasers. They give you a battery to load uh, these ones and you can actually replace the battery if uh, you have to get a newer one. And then they send you by default like this one. So this little thing is going to go back of your telescope where you usually have your uh, camera. So if you Take a look at it in the back of it. If you see, these are these are like the M42 rings, right? So they almost are like your uh, uh, camera. So the laser that comes from this one reflects off these and show like tiny little dots, like right in the middle. Okay. So you are looking at three dots inside the middle they all have to be there in that little you see that right in the circle the middle circle that's where you should see like three dots three different dots almost like a shape of a triangle that's what should you should aim for so one of the things that surprised me when i got this is like you see the big hole there Actually, the big hole is not really 
the one that you have to use the one on the right hand side you know the tiny one is the one that goes on top of this one so it's not the big one it's the small hole is the measurement for your uh, tripod I took the camera off, I took the filter and the attachment that comes with it and uh, this is what the Hotec Hyperstar sends you. It sends you like a Hyperstar attachment. So this is like one piece that goes like right here on top of it and this is uh, the projection. So you need to get uh, the Hyperstar attachment or extension for your Hyperstar. So this is C14 Edge HD telescope and this is the Hyperstar for C14. So you need this kind of adapter for your size of Hyperstar. Okay. In the back of the telescope, you know where you put your uh, eyepiece holder, that's where piece of reflector glass that they provide, right? Uh, this actually goes into either eyepiece holder or your focuser. The hyperstar is off. I'll turn the light back on, that single light. If you bring the scope, the target board, so close. So what we are trying to do now is bring the board closer. I wanted to turn the mount on and move the telescope up a little bit. Okay. Do you see that? Do you see like a target came up? So this donut ring, I'm trying to move and see how far I need to be. Like I'm trying to move the donut to the middle. Okay. So now I wanted to move up a little, move left. So this is like the last one. This is the last but one. So this donut is pretty much now in the middle. Okay, so after several trial and errors, I was able to get that donut ring, you know, this, this red ring. Uh, let me bring you closer so you can see it. You see this ring right here? So it is exactly where it is supposed to be. So I have two rings on the top, like you see that empty ones. So you see right here, you see right here, these two rings are empty, right? And the donut is like right, starting right here. And that should be the same across the circle, okay? So you're not aiming for the crosshairs when you're moving this back and forth. You're aiming for the red donut to be like inside that circle across. That's what you're aiming for. Once you have the right distance figured out, for that to be there, it's going to take some time and patience to make sure it is done. Let me explain how many adjustments you can make to make this work, okay? You can take your telescope and use the telescope hand controller slightly to move this telescope up and down, 
okay that's one adjustment that you have when you do that it is going to move this entire donut up and down okay or left and right when you are moving the telescope your tripod level like this one you can change that you can change the tilt on your tripod to make sure that the donut is coming in the right way the third one is the height of the tripod itself you can move the tripod up and down to make sure that this comes along you won't get these lines okay properly so you can move this knob here right you see that on the top it comes with the uh, hot collimator this will move like left and right and the one on this side uh, one on the back side actually like right here this will move the tilt okay but this and this one these two movements are micro movements and they will change your plus where they are supposed to be okay and also the base of it if you hold this base you can actually twist this base a little bit to make sure they come now when you are doing this for the very first time i mean i'm doing this for like 10th time and it took 15 minutes for me and like if you are doing it for the very first time this won't happen okay so don't get disappointed you have to stay on it and you need to like try to understand what's going on and then try to get this right this is called the co alignment and if you get this co alignment wrong i don't think you are trying to fix your hyperstar correctly there is no point uh, moving to the next step if you don't get this right but once it is done as you can see on the hyperstar uh, it's kind of uh, saturated with red a little bit but really speaking they are that's a plus sign let me put my hand here that's a plus sign that you are seeing on that white thing and then here on the collimator right now we only have one dot blinking on this one right one dot going going on you see that so that dot there on the top like this one and this one are little away and on, they are on the outer ring whereas this dot right here oops this dot right here is on the on the inner ring okay you wanted to make that fine adjustment to the collimation to make sure that all three of them are on the same outer ring that's what we are trying to get to so i adjusted these screws so these are like push and pull kind of screws if you take if you take the screw and move it down all the way and if you push if you start tightening this this ring this one comes out okay when you make this loose and if you make this tight you are making a distance here so after couple of trial and errors now i got what i need you see those three dots here like this one is on this ring this one is on top is like right inside that ring and this one is on top of the ring as well so you see all these three rings are properly touching the outer ring it doesn't matter where those rings are as long as they all behave the same way like this one is on the ring this one is on the ring and this one is on the ring it could be different for you in your case these dots may go on the ring or these dots may go outside inside it doesn't matter but as long as all three of them behave the same way i think you are good so here is the last step in the last step what we did was uh, so this is perfectly collimated the way we wanted it and if you see this one this is actually a cap which we can remove and if we remove we should see like another cross hair on this one 
If this crosshair is not lined up, you can use the tilt screws on the hyperstar to make that work. So now this is ready for the first light. <laughs> 